And it is a Today Takeover putting a unique spotlight on New Orleans. Yeah, Hoda and Jenner highlighting all the great sights and sounds of Jazz Fest so folks around the country can get a taste of the Crescent City. WDSU anchor Randy Russo shows us how many of you got a chance to meet and greet with them earlier today. Randy. You might as well call it Hoda and Jenna Fest. As the Today hosts highlight this year's Jazz Fest and the city it calls home. When you step through the gates of Jazz Fest, it's like your top button comes off. You like pop the buttons off. You are free. And it's the people, man. I mean, it's really the kindness and the warmth and then the food and everything else is incredible too. Speaking of the people, hundreds turned out to catch a glimpse of the NBC celebs. It's fantastic because I'm seasonal and I, I, I was here last year. Got my picture taken with them, and it's it's fantastic. We need some positive stuff because we love each other and we love to have fun. Some even getting to see them at the fairgrounds in action. She goes, it's Hoda. So we stopped, and she was so nice. She said, hey, girl. She took a picture with us, made our day. And they were having such a great time. It's It was awesome. The visit, an important one, as the nation gets a snapshot of New Orleans through the lens of this dynamic duo. You leave your stress behind. All of a sudden, you feel like this injection of life and love and music. New Orleans is everything. New Orleans is sincere and honest. Like the, the music of New Orleans kind of goes into your soul and it awakens you. And the people who make up the heartbeat of New Orleans. I think there's something about this city that doesn't is not cannot be duplicated. It's impossible to duplicate it. Very well said and true. So many of our local celebs were also out there, including, as you saw in Randy's story, Trombone Shorty, John Goodman, even Gail Benson, owner of the Saints and Pelicans, came out just to say hi.